The big butterfly count is back. One of Brighton's proudest countrywide exports, the count helps gather data and increase awareness. It's simple to carry out, runs until the 6th of August and helps provide crucial indicators on the population of butterflies. I spoke with Dr. Dan Danahar, an award-winning biodiversity educationalist in Brighton. When I was a child, I would frequently be able to go to a nice plant or a buddly bush, put my hand into a, what can we say, a flock, a collection of butterflies, um, and, and they would walk over my hand. I mean, now you'll be lucky to see a single butterfly in a buddly bush. So, you know, I mean, they're there, but, but they are struggling. He walked me through the process of the count and what we can all do to help. I feel very excited about the big butterfly count because, of course, you may know that in Brighton and Hove, we did uh, a butterfly count in 2008 and 2009 called the Big Biodiversity Butterfly Count. As a consequence of that, the CEO of Butterfly Conservation, the, the national charity, came to us and said, this is a great idea, and they took it forward to the nation. So it started here in our city, and as a consequence, it's grown and grown and grown. This is the eighth year that we've been doing the Big Butterfly Count, and it's a very simple thing to do. You simply take 15 minutes out of your day, and you count whatever butterflies you see. Uh, the great thing about that is that we get the data, and at the same time, you get a little bit of stress relief, because it's fantastic to do that. Now, if you want to find out about the Big Butterfly Count, you go to bigbutterflycount.org, and you can download all the information that you need that allows you to be able to put the data back in. There are all kinds of different types of plants that you can buy that you can plant in your garden for, as nectar sources and you can find those uh, Butterfly Conservation's main website. Um, uh, but also I, I would sincerely suggest that what you do is you buy wildflowers, you plant local stuff and Stanmer Nurseries here in Brighton and Hove is a really good place to buy wildflowers. We talked about the dedicated community of butterfly enthusiasts and he pointed out that the rare species today might not be what was expected. Well, it depends. You have your generalists, you have your specialists. Uh, and it's the generalists, actually, the ones which we're most worried about, the things which people were likely to see commonly in the garden 40 years ago are now really struggling. For example, the small tortoiseshell butterfly has gone down by 75%. But with the work of the council, Brighton has put itself in a great position to protect the fluttering of butterflies. We're quite lucky in Brighton in that we have got a council which looks forward to making good habitat for butterflies and other wildlife. And so as a consequence, we've created a whole range of different butterfly havens all over the city. Uh, so uh, I would say that we're in better position than most. And the more we help protect butterflies, the more they tell us about the world we live in. For latest TV news, Matthew Enderby.